Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today, we are going to be going outside and we're gonna be sorting through our meat birds. And uh, later on today, we're gonna to be setting up the meat bird processing station so that tomorrow morning, we can wake up super early and start processing as many birds as possible. And then Thursday evening, we'll be processing more as many as possible. <laughs> um, basically, hopefully by the end of the day on Thursday, uh, we will have all the ones that are ready to process processed. Uh, they are getting old. They're about they're 10 weeks old and they are overdue. And uh, next week I'm going to HOA, so uh, we're just gonna have to make do with uh, the time that we have now. And the reason for the limited scheduling is Robert's work schedule. So we're just kind of working around that. We only have a couple hours in the morning, a couple hours before or after work. At any rate, we're gonna go outside. We're gonna sort through the birds, feed them. I have no idea how I'm gonna sort through them. But <laughs> my thinking is that I'm just gonna pull, I'm gonna try and sneak in there and grab as many of the little birds as possible. Like I'm gonna try and sneak inside of, of the fence or inside of um, the gate and um, okay. I'm trying to think this through here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try and sneak into the gate without many of them getting out and then try and let out the ones that we're gonna process and then keep inside the ones that we are not gonna process yet and then I'll, once I have that down, then I'll move the ones that we're not gonna process up to a different area and just hold them there. All right, wish me luck. Snatch the little ones at some point in the day. Guys are crazy, crazy chickens. Okay, I'm gonna go get their feed. I'm gonna go get the feed that I picked up in town. Because I think over here is most likely where we're gonna process them like behind here, convenience, location, um, and there's less bugs in this area. So it'll be less buggy. Um, or maybe in right here, we'll see. But anyways, yeah, up there, um, that's where all the bugs live. <laughs> At least all the mosquitoes. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that it was not quite as successful as I'd hoped, but I did, I was able to get, I think, 14 of them, kind of the smaller, weaker ones, the ones that aren't moving, the ones that are limping, and I moved them up there. So hopefully some of the activity restriction, and I'll feed them a little more heavily, and they'll be kind of more dedicated to that area, and hopefully within a, by the time I get back from HOA, they'll be ready. Um, so I'm, I'm going to get more, and which I'm going to kind of, we're going to, you guys see those cats up there? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to focus when cats are doing that. But anyway, so um, whatever ones we don't end up uh, butchering over the next few days, those ones are gonna be going up there. I'm gonna kind of restrict their movement to help them kind of grow a little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna like pin them down, but they're not gonna have this whole run to run around. Um, I don't think I'll be doing this again. 
it took them a long time to grow out. <laughs> it's a lot more food. <laughs> so anyways, um, I will bring you guys back. I'm gonna be going to town taking care of some boring stuff. And then when I get back, I will uh, bring you guys along for whatever I'm doing. I'm not quite finished with the setup, but it's getting dark. And so I have to, I have to film this, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see. So um, I kind of got everything set up over here. Uh, after thinking about it, I know that over there has terrible drainage because they kind of, they dug it, they dug it into the rock. And so I know over there has terrible drainage. And this particular process t involves a lot of water. So I figured I'd put it over here. So that way the water can drain down the hill. It'll feed the garden area and it will actually wash away. So I found the kind of the flattest area, which is right here. <sighs> you have to excuse my, my breathing, my asthma is just, my asthma sucks. So um, basically, usually in the past, I've done this, I've attached these to pallet. <sighs> okay. So in the past, I've typically attached this to a pallet, and, or the pallet, I've attached the pallet to the back of my truck, the tailgate of my truck, and it held it in place really well. So I put it on the back of this, it's a big, uh, you know, it's like a feeding trough. And it's fairly steady. I'm gonna have to kind of finalize its placement tomorrow. And uh, I'll probably pile some rocks on top or something like that just to weigh it down. Uh, but yeah, I got the extension cords all ready for the plucker. And then I have uh, the propane stove over there with the propane tank. All we need is the pot, which I'll bring out in the morning. Got the eviscerating table, got a couple of coolers, got one more in my son's car. As soon as he gets home, I'll take that. And he's picking up 20 bags of ice for me. So we're pretty much done. Generally the way that this setup has worked for us in the past is that I I will usually catch the chickens, bring them over, I will butcher them, um, boil them, defeather them, and then Robert will um, eviscerate them. He will, um, you know, he'll gut them and he'll get them all ready and into the coolers. Um, that's just kind of that's how it's worked in the past. He has a better way of eviscerating. I haven't really developed the skills in eviscerating yet. Um, so it's just the way it started and it's the way it's continued. <laughs> I think he killed one bird in the beginning and I've just done every, every one ever since. So um, anyways, it should be interesting trying to keep these cats away. Good luck. And hopefully, hopefully this area won't have too many flies. That's my goal. Please, please, please don't let there be too many flies or mosquitoes or something. Um, and we have, we have until probably really as long as we need in the morning as long as we will be doing this in the morning we should have mostly shade in this spot oh my goodness little boo is all about it so um i think i'm just going to do the couple little things that i need to do to finish up this process in getting everything set up i need to lock up all the birds these ones as well as the other ones oh i did end up moving some more of the meat birds over to the other area I have, I think, 22 over there. Uh, I just kind of went and picked out the the injured ones, um, you know, ones that kind of are just sitting funny. I don't know what's going on with them. Some of them are sitting like super weird legged and all kinds of weird stuff I've never seen before. Uh, there's two of them that do that. One much more prominent than the other. So I'm guessing they probably have like a hurt knee or something. But anyways, um, and then just one of the, some of the ones that look smaller because uh, we're not gonna be able to get through all 100. Um, this week, so. Can y'all hear this? <laughs> Such a ham. <laughs> okay, 